we've discovered a new fossil reptile which we've named Teleocrater. And Teleocrater comes from the Triassic period of time, so it's about 245 million years old. And it's particularly important and significant because it seems to be a very close relative of the earliest dinosaurs and tells us something completely new uh, about where dinosaurs come from and how they became so important and successful. This is a hugely exciting discovery. We've long had ideas that the, the ancestors and the closest relatives of dinosaurs were small animals that, that ran very fast on two legs. Um, Telocrate is very different from that. It's a much larger animal, so it's maybe two to three meters in length. It walked on four legs rather than two. Uh, and it also had a number of surprising anatomical features. So for example, its ankle is much more similar to crocodilians than to what we would predict for, for a dinosaur. So it's extremely rare to find these very close relatives of, of, of dinosaurs, um, particularly from this period of time. So Teleocrater is the earliest representative of a, a great group of reptiles that includes the dinosaurs and the birds. And it's really kind of important in, in shedding light on exactly where dinosaurs come from and how they became so significant. So the fossils of Teleocrater were um, discovered in the southern part of Tanzania, in East Africa, and they were found in two different ways of discoveries. So the first fossils were discovered in the 1930s uh, by a British paleontologist, and they've been in the Natural History Museum ever since. And then there have been new discoveries within the last uh, few years made by an American team working in the same area. So I first got involved when I uh, worked at the Natural History Museum a number of years back, and we've been primarily working on the uh, the, the historical discoveries that were made in the 1930s and which really haven't been completely studied up until the present day. And then we've been working with this American-led team, pulling all of that information together to kind of try and understand the significance of this new animal for understanding dinosaur evolution.